All right, so today we're taking a look at the D D derivation system SD+, plus, which is an expansion of the system SD that we've been working with. Now, typically the way this would go in like a longer logic class is that you would prove each of these new rules in the SD system, and then you'd be allowed to use them, and you'd expand little by little like that. But we don't really have time to do that, so we're just going to take a brief look at how some of these new SD plus rules would be derived in the SD system. And like I said, the SD, all these rules in SD plus are really just shortcuts. They represent making a bunch of different uh, moves in SD, and we're going to show that today by taking a look at some of these uh, rules and how they would be done in SD, or how they would be shown in SD. So this is an equivalence rule known as transposition. It says that if P then Q is logically equivalent to if not Q then not P. So how would we prove that in SD? Well, the easiest way to do this typically is to um, link these two sentences together with a biconditional and prove that the resulting material biconditional is a theorem of SD. So this is what we're trying to prove, and obviously this is going to have to be done by biconditional introduction, so we're going to need to prove the left to right equivalency, and then the right to left equivalency. So we need to show We need to show this. We need to go ahead and fill in this gap here and this gap here. So our line 1 here is an assumption for purposes of biconditional introduction. And this is what we're trying to prove. And what we're trying to prove here is a conditional. So as always when you're trying to prove a bike when you're trying to prove a conditional assume the antecedent of the conditional and show that you can derive the consequent so we're going to assume not q and show that not p follows now how can we get not p here well Maybe if we assume P, we can show that uh, assuming P causes a contradiction. So line two is an assumption for purposes of conditional introduction. And in line three, we're going to start a new subderivation and assume P for negation introduction. And here we go. If we have P, we can get Q by the conditional on line 1. So line 4 will be Q. From lines 1 and 3, conditional elimination. On line 5, we're going to reiterate not Q into that subderivation. On line 6, we can now conclude not P because the assumption of P caused a contradiction. So we cite lines 3 through 5 in the negation introduction rule. And now on line 7, we're able to close out this subderivation and conclude that not if not Q, then not P. So we have this sentence on line 7 <coughs> by 2 through 6 in conditional introduction. So we're done with the, <coughs> the left to right direction of the proof. We're done with this top subderivation. Now we're going to go down here and get the right to left direction of the proof. 
So line eight, assumption for biconditional introduction. And again, we're trying to prove a conditional here. So the way that we would do this, again, is to assume the antecedent and try to show that the consequent follows. So we need to show that Q follows from the assumption of P. Now, how can we do that? Well, what if we assume not Q and show that a contradiction follows from not the assumption of not Q? So that's an, line 10 is an assumption for negation elimination. What we can do now from not Q by conditional elimination, we get not P from lines 8 and 10. Now on line 12, we can reiterate P into this subderivation. And now we're able to we're able to close this subderivation off, and we're able to conclude Q from lines 10 through 12, negation elimination. So line 14 now, um, we're able to get by. Lines 9 through 13, conditional introduction. We know that if we assume P, then Q follows. So 9 through 13, conditional introduction. And we're, now we're ready, we're done with this subderivation and we're able to get our conclusion. If P then Q is equivalent to not Q, if not Q then not P from lines one through seven and eight through 14. by conditional introduction.